Hi, good morning. This is the English channel of Toy TV. Yeah, certainly. I'm. I won't be the main host for uh, so some English program. You know what? What is my English level? So we are. Uh, we have invite uh, super fans of Iron Man, not Tony Stark, but Butcher Stark, uh, this Avenger Force. And but you can see, uh, he is, he's just busy buying something for himself. So let's stay tuned for a while. And uh, we already start a um. Cantonese versions over there, and with uh, Douglas, with uh, Joe, Jenny, David, Ji uh, Long uh, over there, and uh, we will have an English uh, tour for you guys very soon. So today is the first day of, uh, in Hong Kong, and uh, this is only open for media. The official opening day is uh, two days later because the first day is for the secret base member, and the second day is for the oh no, sorry. The first day is a VIP member, second day is a secret base member, and the third day is open to, for public. So if you guys want to uh, to grab the you know the war machine and uh, and uh, and another one is uh, is a hawk eye in advance, uh, yeah, probably you need to queue up. And there's some special arrangement from Hot Toys, you know, with a uh, with a curve of his of his hand uh, to to identify everybody queuing up for the buying. So it should be very. Um, let me think that it should be very grateful, but at the same time, it's very you know maybe a bit tough. You have to queue up for a long time. Anyway, every time is like that. But uh, you know, Hot Toys now is the top brand in Hong, uh, in all over the world for one six scale. So you guys will think that it's worth to grab them because every time you get some figures. Uh, in this case, uh, you could uh, grab them uh, at the you know at the first second. Anyway, I I'll talk a little bit of Cantonese first. Then this here, we actually started the Cantonese uh, live. If you have Toy Story friends, you can actually see the Duck Ball on that side. We use Cantonese. This side, we found the Budget Star and we speak English. Then the style of it, we just let it be free to use. Then today, the exhibition, actually, this year, the Cantonese is two places. One is the Liang Tai, one is the Liu Tai, one is the Hei Shen Hei Shen广场。啊，咁就面積唔係好大嘅，咁啊好啦，咁啊 budget 咧應該買完嘢，咁我可能會加翻個麥俾佢噶啦，咁但係有啲時間啦，咁影相，影相，影相，係啦，哦，嗱，買緊嘢，誒，影下，喂，影下呢個，試下順啦，試下順啦，一影就全部踎得，哎呀，男神女神喺曬度添，唉，好啦，咁唔搞啦，唔搞，唔玩你哋啦，唔玩你哋啦。OK， 好啦，咁啊，今年呢就有，我都用返廣東話先啦。嗯，今年係有兩個版本嘅，一個係誒、呃、一個一比六方面啦，一個就係一個係誒、呃、machine 啦，另外一個就係 hooker 啦。唔係唔好意思，啱起身同埋係有啲混亂啊，準備咁，所以唔係好唔係好咩？我睇下幾人先。其實兩個 live 會點嘅呢？咁咪啲人，我唔係佢照都係 cut 入條片睇啫，嗬。好啦 ，so 啊、uh,。Good morning, good morning, Hong Kong time for uh, fellow collectors in uh, you know besides Hong Kong all over the world. We are going to have a news program for you guys. Uh, it's about Avengers 4, End Games, and also Hot Toys new release. So stay tuned, and uh, we are waiting for Budget to come here with us to have a very you know very good ac English accents of uh, you know British accents of uh, English to to. To, to comment to make your, to make the commentary sorry yeah, you know my English is not really good um, so let's stay for a while and um, we will show you all the new items hot toys will be carry for this Avengers 4 and besides the one six scale figures there's a lot of other items like the course baby and there is a free special versions for this uh, pop-up store in Causeway Bay Hong Kong uh, it's all uh, Iron Spider, Iron Man, and also the uh, Shu Ren is what? Shu Ren is. I think it's him. Okay, budget. Are you ready? Yeah, almost ready. Okay. So let's let's see your your budget start. The opening is. Okay. Are we rolling? Yeah, yeah, we're rolling for a while. Okay, hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. We are at Heisen Place. I tried 
to have a haircut like, well, the mohawk from Hawkeye. It didn't quite work out. It looked like the Chinese version of Hawkeye. Um, like his brother, call me Chalkeye if you'd like. So what we're going to do is, let me put this on maybe a little bit easier. Oh, hang on a second. Okay, so I've got the outfits from the team, uh, the team outfit, as they call it, from uh, the section that we've seen in the trailers, which may be a time traveling scene. But we're going to have a quick cruise through this exhibition here, walk around this side where they sell a lot of cos babies, and also go around to the other side over that direction in a moment. So if we go around this direction, they have t-shirts, merchandise, moving across. We also have some plushies, key rings, etc. However, you've got to also note, there are actually some, I would say, um, spoilers that may be seen just because you purchase these cos babies. If we move across this direction, you'll see what I'm talking about. By the way, just one thing that Hot Toys have done, I just want to show you this. They're selling these one in six scale boxes. There are a lot of collectors I know like to pose it up with these little boxes and we'll see that on display in a moment. So we carry on going this direction. These are the Civil War one in six scale boxes. So we get two different box available if you want to pose up with these uh, normal 1 6 scale figures. Each are not sold as a whole box set, but as individual ones, so you can choose which you'd like to pick up. So we carry on moving here. We have some more items, just some basic fun stuff. So we have towels. We have a 1 and quarter scale gauntlet which is from Endgame, but it's pretty much identical to the Infinity War version that was seen previously. So if we can show you here, these, these are the boxes that you essentially make <laughs> folded up from these, uh, I'll say I think, I think it's cardboard. Anyway, let's move on. They have some other merchandise, which is a light box. They have an Endgame one and a Marvel one. Now, if we get to this section here, which is more of the cos babies, you will also see some spoilers that may be appearing in the film. One thing that's very important, it looks like they haven't shown everything that will be coming out in the film. I'm sure Marvel have put some, Marvel have definitely put some uh, restrictions on what can and can't be shown. For example, this says Ronin, but from the Hot Toys figures that have been announced, it looks like it's been called Hawkeye. One thing else also shown is this war machine. If you look very closely, they call it the Mark... Actually, there isn't a Mark on this one. But the figure that has been announced is the Mark VI. This one hasn't been announced yet. It may be something waiting to be shown after the film has aired before going through with the pre-orders. We're going to walk around the outside now. Let's go around this direction. And this is, I think, a big spoiler for the film. This is Hulk in the team suit. You can see it's like the Professor Hulk look. If you can get a close up of that. With the team suit, the, uh, I don't know why I've just forgotten that name. Quantum Realm suit, uh, as we've seen in the trailers. We also have a Battle Damage Mark 50. Some people call it the Mark L for whatever reason, maybe they're not used to Roman numerals, but this Battle Damage Mark 50 looks pretty funky, just like in Infinity War. It is possible that there'll be a flashback scene, that's why it's called from Endgame. And then if you're looking for the full display of what you're looking at here, if we look through all of this displays, very nice setup. Wow. If you want to see what it likes, 
almost like a chrome coated look or gold coated you see right at the back there if you want something a bit more bling maybe not for your kids and then sliding across a few more cos babies from Endgame now we're going to move across to the one-in-one -one scales which you guys may or may not have seen in the background there's the mark 85 and the armored thanos and the one in six scale figures along with a quarter scale and the one in one scale uh, gauntlet so let's we start from the left hand side over here we have to fight our way through the other press and start doing the usual poses and selfies Here's the one in one scale light up Mark 85. And then we slightly move across slowly. These are the previous uh, figures from Infinity War. These are not the end game figures, these are Infinity War figures, which most of them actually have been released. We're looking at the Thor, the standard Thanos. Iron Man, Doctor Strange, etc. These are pretty much all released figures. So I wouldn't say it's anything particularly new. So as we move across, we'll see something a little bit more unusual. First premiere shown anywhere in the world. This is the quarter scale Infinity Gauntlet and the one in one scale Infinity Gauntlet. So we've moved across, I've just noticed one thing. They've actually taken out the war machine here. This was the one that's gone up for pre-order that was announced. I'm afraid it's not here now. Maybe we'll come back and see what's going on there. So we have the rockets, which hasn't been seen yet. You've got to remember, these are all prototypes, which means that they're subject to change in due course. And as I said before, it's very, very likely that figures will be announced and shown after the film has come out because this is on the uh, 12th of April two weeks before the film is actually released so therefore Marvel have said look you can't show everything that will be in the film or you're planning on making because it will be a spoiler something else that's changed taken out is Hawkeye this was on display a little bit earlier or some people may maybe call it the Ronin figure and this Captain America, I just want to point out something here. The front, maybe you can just see that, the front chest looks like a plastic with the scale mail. It's not the fabric that has been seen before on all the other Captain Americas. So that's something a little bit different that collectors, I'm not sure how they would like it. Because if we go down a little bit more and look upwards, you can just see, maybe I can see that just there. The, where the chest connects where the chest connects onto the abdomen section it's not flush which means you may be able to have a bit more articulation but you lose a bit of aesthetic and then looking at this shield it looks like a battle damage type shield however again it's not the final final version it hasn't even gone up for a pre-order yet so these are first looks at these prototypes the armor Thanos, which I think most people are aware of, because it has been up for pre-order over at SciShow and in Hong Kong. And then this Ant-Man. This is something that no one's ever seen as well. It's a prototype, hasn't been announced yet. Now the colors of this Ant-Man compared to the Ant-Man and Wasp version, it looks a little bit sharper. The helmet, I think, looks... Is that carbon fiber on the top of the helmet? It looks of carbon fiber type look. If we can get it from a different angle, we may see that. I'm not sure that was on the Ant-Man and Wasp version, but it does definitely look a very nice color contrast. It's a very deep metallic red with a sort of gray and black mixture. And then just one thing I want to show also at the back is the Mark 85. And we're going to do a little walk around at the back of the figures, because that's something a little bit unusual that we don't see, which is the back of the figures. Whenever you look at the pre-orders and the prototypes on display at Secret Base or Toy Hunters, you generally see the front or the three-quarter view, but you never see the back of the figures. And that's something I want to show you guys, because the work that goes into it, you can't appreciate it because you can't see it. We'll also look at the Nebula figure. 
which not many people have seen in real life because this only went up for pre-order a few days ago. Ha having seen this in person now, it looks like the fabric, it does look like a fabric, not a pleather that some people have com commented on thinking that it could be something that makes flake over time. The whole suit is not made out of pleather. There are definitely fabric parts to it, just like the Captain America has, has fabric parts to it as well. So we're now gonna go around the back and have a quick look at the back of the figures before we move on to the last section. So if we look at here, the armored Thanos and just slowly pan downwards, and you will see the detail on this outfit, along with the detail on the double-edged sword, which actually looks phenomenal. Excellent weathering and a paint app on there. Very nicely done. And then if we pan across to the Mark 85, the back. Again, this is not gonna be released for a while, at least a year. So there's gonna be quite a lot of work that they'll be doing you can see the mold the you see the finish on the back here it's not as clean as it always is with hot toys accessories normally the figures um the molds are very sharp the paint app is very crisp and that's not so much here but you can get have an idea of how it may look and then we're looking at the back also of nebula and then captain marvel just to touch on captain marvel this figure hasn't been announced. We don't even know if we're getting a version for Infinity War. So it could well be the same as the figure that was announced for the solo film itself. So as we move round, we want to look at one last thing, which is one of my favorite characters, Rocket Raccoon. small figure but the outfit is very different to what we've seen before some people will say it's very very close to how the uh, comic book version is so now we're going to pan round to the front oh we're going to go around the other side here we're going to go around and have a look at the Groot figure sorry not Groot Rocket's figure so you can get a quick front view of this. Someone's asked, are these movable or statues? These are figures, they are movable, they're not statues. They're not power poses, they are full on figures. But again, these are prototypes and the final version is not announced and hasn't been finalized yet. If it is, it will be a while before these are announced and final release version. So the last thing we're gonna show is this huge one-to-one -one scale armored Thanos. His blade, as you can see, is not as large and is nowhere near as detailed as the figure, but it just looks like a huge piece with a good lighting looking upwards and the infinity gauntlet there. And, I'm, and that pretty much covers how this looks in terms of the figures and one-to-one -one scale statues. We're now going to have a quick look and pan through some of these different displays. Now, they do have the Ronin and Hawkeye figure along with the War Machine Mark VI. So one thing that you can see is different on this war machine is that the plasma gun, the shoulder cannon, this has got three pronged, three fins, which is a very different shape, to, for example, to the uh, Civil War, where it was a rectangular shape and significantly different to something like the diecast Mark I, which was more of a minigun feel. So this is gonna be interesting because they haven't announced what we would call, I think, the Mark V. Some people have called it the Thanos Buster or a War Buster, whereby it's going to be a large figure. We have seen a few snippets of this in the trailer, where you have a Rocket holding on to the shoulder or the side section of that war machine. And I know a lot of collectors really do love the look of that war machine. It's aggressive, it has these two rivets on its face, 
and it hasn't been shown and I have been told that it's very likely that after the film has come out they may well show this so we're going to go around the front a little bit more so we can get a better look at Hawkeye and Ronin these were just announced today for pre-order and the look of this someone who has been posing it up and touching it has been saying that the fabric is pretty poseable it's not made out of pleather and it's a very sharp vibrant look it's dark like a ninja but also it has a modern feel to it because it has modern accessories and weapons this is due for release around the middle of 2020 so about a year's time and the war machine is a little bit longer it's looking at 2021 so it may be a year maybe two years time for release of that so we're looking for more announcements after the film has come out but overall this is something which i think clayton will be very happy with this hawkeye is almost a two for one figure you can have a helmeted head sculpt and a mask hooded one because there's a deluxe and a normal version and then if we go round to the Cos Babies, which we've seen before, just to finalise, this is pretty much coming to the end now of the exhibition here. And you'll get a chance also to see these one in six scale uh, figure boxes that Hot Toys have, which we didn't see over at the store. Just going to finish up now with a quick flash through showing all the merchandise available to purchase this exhibition runs into May so ultimately let me just show you what I mean so inside here you have a Thanos but it's magnetic so you can stick it onto your fridge but you can if you want to just pose it up with your figures itself just like that very nicely done I think that pretty much covers this exhibition I'm sure more things will be display however I've just been told there are one-to-one -one scale st statues outside now it's maybe a little bit raining but we'll see if we can get through this so exhibitions here walk down the stairs at Heisen Place Oh, it looks like the rain has lightened up a little bit. So we're going to go downstairs now. We take these escalators down here on the right hand side. You can see the one to one scales just over there. obviously these are statues and a few years back when Age of Ultron was shown here as an exhibit they had the Hulk Buster with um, having a battle with Hulk and every hour on the hour the helmet would open up and um, the chest would slide down as well so they replaced that by this particular uh, display as you can see the weather's not great but just give you an idea of what's happening is that they have this uh, set up yesterday Hopefully these statues, I'm sure, are water resistant and not affected by the paint. And this is something that may be a spoiler for the film. We have, it's not even a, um, the team suit as it's called. It's the proper Professor Hulk look. So I'm sure this will show up in the films. Otherwise toy companies and hot toys wouldn't be making these as displays. So guys, that's pretty much it from this exhibition over at Heisen Place, the Avengers Endgame exhibition in Hong Kong. Hope you enjoy this footage and catch you all at the next video.